Question number 6 says that in figure 5.10, if AC equals BD, then prove that AB equals CD. So this is figure 5.10. As given in the question, we write AC equals BD. Now from the figure, we can see that AC can be written as a sum of AB plus BC. So let's do that. We write AC as AB plus BC, which equals BD. And BD can also be written as the sum of BC and CD. So let's write that. BD equals BC plus CD. Now, point B lies between A and C as can be seen in the figure and C lies between point B and D. Now, what we can do is we can subtract BC from both the sides. So, let's do that. AB plus BC minus BC equals BC plus CD minus BC. So, what we now get is AB is equal to CD. Now, this could have also been derived from the information that we know that when equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are also equal. So, this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.